Welcome back to part number 17 of my Imperator Rome playthrough as Rome. We just finished a war with Carthage. I moved the troops back here uh, to uh, Persian borders. I have a Merc here I just called up. He's refreshing his morale. And most of the army is here. It consists of uh, mostly uh, legions, but there are uh, four Mercs that I called up. Our money situation is not exactly tight. It's well enough. Uh, 134 positive. I also um, colonized up through here, adjacent to Parthia. Uh, the rationale being, um, first of all, uh, Parthia, I believe, is headed for a civil war. Whatever that is, it happens or doesn't happen, I don't really know. We have a claim going up. Um, I believe here in in this area it's 63 percent finished and should be actionable shortly um, whether that happens you know in a timely manner relative to the finish of this war I'm, I'm not sure but here's the plan here's the plan so we, we finished this war and in a perfect world, we try to annex enough territories to where we can gain some adjacency um, up here. Adjacent to Parthia, so uh, we'd want to be here, really. I'm not holding my breath on this part of the plan, but there's a long provenance here. You can sort of get one, two, and then... I suppose it's possible that it, it could be done. If we can take these territories here and get adjacent to Parthia here, we can uh, not run our armies all the way back here through Persian lands, back to the coast to, to go wherever it is they're going to go. They can uh, take to our new land here, and then we can immediately engage Parthia thereafter. Rather than going back up all the way around here, up through the steppe and here. As to whether that happens, I, I don't really know. But it, it is an idea, and it, it may be actionable or not. To the point, uh, I, th I'm going to release this as a client state. And, and I, I probably should do it right now, so that the 10-year integration window starts to tick. Now, Parthia, when it's tribal, they have a tendency of of migrating. I think uh, if there are migrating, migratory tribes up here, and they're not uh, the autocracy of Parthia, they tend to just up and migrate away from any sort of adjacency. And then if you release this as a client state, you can't say, well, why don't you colonize, you know, adjacent to Parthia so we can carry on with the, the claim that I dropped. Uh, that would be the problem. Uh, Parthia may be hard-coded to uh, migrate away or, or move its pops away. I, I, don't, I don't know. An autocracy would have to manually do it, and I've never seen it done, but that doesn't mean it won't be done. So I'm sort of afraid to release this as a client state just right now, especially since the civil war is ticking. And this might just break away and then I won't have claims on Parthia in a timely manner. So the 10 year thing is not a big enough deal to where I want to release this right now. Who knows um, <clears throat> what will happen. And the war is going well. Um, I checked. Uh, it looks as though we're probably going to establish adjacency up here next to uh, Parthia. As to whether I want the aggressive expansion, it's going to be about 40 plus. It'll probably be end up uh, end up at 50 or 60 plus by the time everything's said and done. Been chasing um, cohorts about this area here and shattered, retreating them uh, repeatedly. These uh, a fat stack here has finally recovered uh, its morale. Uh, essentially, it was coming back here. I have this Merc stack here guarding, but uh, there's no way to win that, so we'll just give him his capital back. I don't think he can siege it back uh, down by the time the war is going to end. This unit here, I'm going to get him on a boat. Uh, 
I, theoretically, I would want to have a Merc back here, but it just the logistics of the war didn't work quite out as well as I had planned. And I'm going to uh, ferry him over here and see if we can get uh, this end of Parthia, and then maybe we'll, um, we'll join up or something up through here. My road building activities go well. Uh, try this guy, I don't think he's going to make it in time to uh, build a road all the way up through here, but he's working on it. Uh, this guy was not uh, tasked with building a road. Somehow it looks as though he's trying to build one in my, my client state. I don't think that really works so well. Uh, well, whatever the case is, uh, we'll just uh, set him to task at that activity. Let's see what this guy's up to. He's um, he's almost done with his uh, his work. And then um, this other road builder here, he's done his thing as well. All right, it looks as though we have a 99 war score, and I just occupied these territories here. I should be able to take a, a large swath of land up uh, through this area here into uh, the Parthian region. It's not going to do me any good uh, relative to establishing any adjacencies uh, here to Maka or uh, Moria. But um, it's going to um, help me to, I think, annex Parthia with that client state I discussed earlier in the episode. I'm going to peace out and then release it here, wait for the month to tick over. So it will participate in the upcoming war and then have it annex this whole swath. Uh, Phanagoria here, I believe, can annex this as well. And then uh, we'll try to get ourselves out of this area as best we can. Uh, and then engage Egypt and or Carthage. And then back to the Persian Empire to uh, take uh, this area here after uh, filing numerous claims throughout. Well, there it is. Um, 52 aggressive expansion. I've managed to action all of our claims. <clears throat> and then um, establish a corridor along this line to adjacency with Parthia. So let's do it. What is that going to do for us now? Alright, so this provenance here has a... Um, not a lot of food and not a little bit of food. This one uh, has uh, some food as well. So we can probably replenish our food supplies in these territories as well as <clears throat> de-exile ourselves. So if we go up here... Actually, we can probably stand down the mercs as well. <clears throat> like this merc right here. Uh, Parthia is large and all, but um, let's see here. <clears throat> this unit here, we'll get rid of him. Who are you? There's a merc there. Okay, so we can head this merc up uh, to this, this front. Why not do it? Our other army here has is heading around the, the bend there and going to access Parthia from here. Our vassal is there as well. So I'm going to move these guys into um, our new territories here and replenish the food supply. Place some governors. I have a couple of inventions. I'm not really sure what to do with them. We have a fair clip of military tradition. Let's burn it so that I don't get um, carried away with other matters here. Let's do that. So there's no way I can forget to do it now because I've done it. And we can go here next. We'll get a levy size modifier as a multiplier and morale as well. I probably should have gone here instead of... Um, well, the maintenance cost is nice as well. The first thing that needs to get done, I, I've done this before, is, is uh, declare the war and then realize that I didn't release the client state. So what we want to do is make sure this area is indeed still Roman as well as Hellenic it is both so we can release this client state darn there it is right here darn release as subject let's do it so that should show as a Roman Hellenic subject we need to let this month tick over um, into April and then uh, we can declare war at our leisure here 
assuming that there's there's no civil war we have a claim here okay so he's not participating because the month needs to tick over so I'm gonna move these uh, units here and de-exile them and then we'll declare the war against Parthia and burn down our aggressive expansion uh, while uh, Gloria here takes all of the aggressive expansion and perhaps so uh, we can uh, go here after that for more aggressive expansion or zero aggressive expansion for us and quite a bit of it for Residia I don't know either that or we head off to Egypt or back to Carthage well we're sort of in position and sort of de-exiled um, uh, let's just do it and get this ball rolling along so all of our vassals specifically uh, Gloria here or Gioria are going to participate and we will action this right now how unfortunate for this governor he has a mill tech of one and then he has a martial skill of one as well otherwise it looks like a fairly formidable army not exactly formidable but not a pushover either it's a decimation is what it was it's ugly the question is, can our guy build this road fast enough to uh, make a difference? Who are you? Why are you? Ah. Quite a few theaters and uh, grand temples are going up. The war, of course, goes well. I just realized I didn't have any claims in works against the Seleucids. Here's the war uh, we're proceeding here. These uh, units here are going to occupy that and we'll come up around this aspect here if necessary and I was going to file a claim here and it looks as though we have the option to uh, file one here without any adjacencies at all or Babylonia as well it's not a bad one either right there but more to the point I think we can get one here and then I think that's uh, courtesy of our diplomatic traditions wonder which would be right here. Diplomatic reach. I also don't recall having to pay to upgrade these things to level 4. I, I thought that my recollection was they did it automatically, but apparently I checked the wiki and you have to pay like 60, 60, and 60. So these things I think are going to stay at level 3 for uh, at least uh, some time into the future. I have uh, 4 innovations. I'm going to take the 5% uh, reinforcement speed here and think on maybe getting a bit more siege activity going here we'll get that as well I keep one perhaps in the bank I just checked um, and we're not taking nearly as much uh, war score out of these guys as I would have imagined so uh, it's time to change our policy I think we have plenty of commerce income and we need to get what do we need to get I don't rightly know let's see I was gonna change it to the war score but we have a few bonuses here for um, well this is a level one commerce income right so and we have a lot of commerce income coming in from various means mercantile stance uh, ruler fitness mercury etc so this is a relatively small portion of it so I was thinking maybe if I sort of lean into changing over to a military status and having two mills mill ideas with this I can get plus five loyalty of characters and also a plus eight percent Freeman loyalty which should make a difference if we run a high aggressive expansion so or low stability so maybe we can take this and see what happens so what's our income right now what what actually is our income though so it's 218 let's see what happens here off that goes and on you go so now we have eh, we lost a little bit of money but uh, we're closer to 
having these matched. So we need one more mill. Mill idea, perhaps, and then we can get some royalty and, and uh, freeman a happiness. We make quite a bit of money, and uh, we could get some claim fabrication speed bonus and a war score here for going bellicose. At some point, uh, the mercantile becomes less relevant. Let's do it. Let's just do it and get it over with there and see what happened to our income now. So we went from 218 down to 163 by changing that. Uh, and lost 50 gold or thereabouts. I think that'll come out in the wash, or we're going to get uh, receive more territories from Parthia, and we'll have less repeating wars, and our claims against the Persian Empire will hit much sooner. So we'll have more, and we'll get less aggressive expansion, and we'll get more money coming in from the territories we take. I, I think it's uh, it's not as bad as it looks, and it's not really all that bad to begin with. We had 99 war score a little while back. I had a couple of legions down here sieging these forts. I, again, I thought that I'd be able to take more in the war than I, I am practically able to do. But uh, right now, we just down this these two capitals. And we should be able to uh, acquire a, quite a bit of this Parthian territory here um, for our new client state. So I'm going to leave this here in uh, intact completely as Phanagoria annexes in 630 already. So that's uh, 60 years down the line. And maybe we can claim that for ourselves directly at some point. So I'm going to transfer all of these territories, as many as is possible, to Gioria. But, uh, you know, just sort of commenting on, on, I was sort of wondering whether I could extend all the way through here without getting an egregious amount of aggressive expansion. It wasn't really egregious, but it was pretty bad. But I did it, and then now we're able to make this loop. We'll come around here, up, up through here. We are going to exit uh, the day here, and we'll land in our territory here, Tanis, where the fleet is going to pick up these units as they arrive, escort them over to um, either of these two territories where we have the road built, and we will attack this lot here and annex them to uh, Rysitia who will probably end up um, integrating about 6.30 after that, about the same time as uh, Phanagoria. After diddling with this quite a, few, quite a few times, I've come to a 100 war score to where I should get one aggressive expansion. This should go up to 64.97. Let's see if it does. It did. I had to give more territory to Phan Phanagoria. It's now integrating 643. All right, again, the plan is, uh, uh oh. So these are, yeah, okay, all exiled. I'm gonna get all of these units back here to, so they can get ferried over to Gedea. We'll take this, burn down some aggressive expansion, uh, get these guys integrated into Residia, and then we'll sail over to Carthage where we have claims uh, provided by our mission essentially everywhere and then we'll take uh, the wind out of their sails so they don't take any more of these Iberians as they have a technological advantage but I'd imagine that they're probably not feeling particularly well relative to their uh, ability to raise proper legions uh, because there's not a lot of Punics in the area. I suppose they could integrate some of these, but uh, there's there's no cities in the area either. So, if we take the last of their cities here and here, they'll just be like a, a, a tribal power almost with a bit of tech, not really able to raise any sort of legions um, at all, really, relative to our ability to field them. That's the plan as it uh, sits right now. I'm going to move all those guys. There's no reason to watch it. I'll be back when it's actionable. I just raised our um, taxes a bit here. Got some money, I suppose, but did not uh, affect the research rate at all. So why not do it? Back up to 200.
without all the other bonuses uh, from mercantile stats etc I just popped an omen and it was noticeable I got another I think 40 per on the economy so uh, we are leaving this guy I forgot about him he's he got stuck back here he's very low on food I'm gonna move him here let him replenish his food these these units here heading back to uh, Tanius as well have these units here we're gonna ferry them right over here some of them have already arrived via the land and once these units from this boat are essentially like around here I'm gonna declare war on this lot and uh, these guys will catch up when they catch up I have disbanded my road builders what there is of it we have roads here and along through here some roads here never made it down to the former Bosporn kingdom some roads across here and across here and, and of course uh, Carthage uh, that's about the size of it let's do it we need to get these uh, forts down that are close to us I think we have a claim here in Geria let's see if there are any uh, surprises there are not We just got a plus uh, 0.1 uh, loyalty tick uh, event, and all of these are trending uh, up, um, at least most, if not all. Yep, all. The war goes well, as one might expect. Uh, these guys are on the boat. By the time they get in there, they'll be essentially uh, have wasted their time, so I'm just going to maybe perhaps land them in a city where they can replenish their food. By my best reckoning, all of this is actionable presently. So, uh, start off by taking the claim that we have. We have no need. It's 0 0.6 aggressive expansion. There's no need to give that to our client state. The rest I'm going to transfer over to the client state, and we'll see if that works out. All right, there it is. Uh, let's see the war score involved. It's going to be close. Yeah, it's... We're gonna have to separate piece out. This uh, tribe here, we can take them. I see we've, we've inadvertently taken some ourselves. I'm going to adjust uh, that. All right, there it is. Uh, we're taking one territory here, at least in theory. Gedia, we'll take that, and the rest goes to our client state. We'll see if our AE stays at 50. Well, it should be even less. It went up again. Well, because we took this. Okay, good. So um, I need to uh, sell these territories because of that strange bug that happens when you peace out and annex territories to a client state. Other than that, everything is perfect. And we are going to leave this area and head over to Carthage immediately. So far as I can tell, our peace agreement will end March 14 of 73. That's uh, right around the corner. We made it out of here with a little incident. We need to, um, anyway, sell these territories back to the state here, our client state. More to the point, we are in Carthage, and uh, one of these legions is very low on food, the one that sort of got left back in the day, so I'll have him stick around here and guard. We still have two uh, Carthaginian client states, or city states, I believe, here. And Carthage is, uh, we need to have uh, him go down and deal with that. So I sent two legions down here. We're not going to end up at war with... with um, Massilium, Massilium, and we are going to load these legions up and head out to this city-rich environment, the last that he has left. Strangely enough, if this becomes an issue to where this uh, tribe is going to get in the way of our uh, proper annexation of Carthage, not exactly sure how we got this claim, but uh, it seems to be actionable, and I'll not worry about where it came from. My best guess after five minutes of due diligence is that somehow our Hesperian claims against Carthage have, have triggered that as well. I... Anyway, all that should happen next episode. 
Um, I'm not going to hire any mercs. I think we have uh, plenty of uh, legions or, or cohorts in our legions proper. We have 88, uh, 64, 50, uh, 46. Yeah, we should do all right. I think he doesn't have again many, many cities left. It's it's these bruisers here that were large and they're gone now. Let's take a quick look here before we go. Um, Italy and, and company are largely Roman, Greek. The Greece uh, missions have Romanized this area. Quite a bit of Romanism through here. All the theater squares, essentially any of these cities in Anatolia have theater squares. I mean, uh, grand theaters or grand temples. As do essentially almost any, any city anywhere that we own. Really, if you, you pick out any given city, let's uh, pick out that one. I'm pretty sure it'll have one or the other or both, you know. And you. Let's see, uh, you. Just one. How about you? Both. So we have, um, again, largely Hellenic. Let's check our religious unity here. It's, it's not as high as it could be, but uh, it's good enough. As for what goes on in the political map mode, uh, again, Carthage is the only major power in the West, and that's about to cease. Parthia has uh, been broken into three. We're uh, very close to um, another war with the Persians. I've been dropping claims. That may or may not get us adjacent to uh, Moria, but um, well, I don't think it will actually, but we're going to be closer. Uh, Dravidia has taken advantage, I believe, of a uh, Morian uh, civil war. And uh, maybe if we get close enough, we can use our 30% diplomatic range and 20% control range to um, engage with Dravidia uh, in, in ping pong wars against Moria and Dravidia. And we won't have to use that dreadful spear. Um, it's not that I'm opposed to the spear. Um, it's just that all of these... Um, all the technologies that it takes to get there and what could be had if you don't take that. So anyway, we're not going to use the spear so far as my plans go right now and we're not going to use this religious one which is uh, gives you uh, 10 stability f uh, for uh, desecrating temples of which there are quite a few. So we're not having any terribly difficult stability troubles. Uh, our AE is manageable because we've had half price claims essentially the entirety of the game i'm gonna try to do it that way uh i hope to see you in the next episode